Yes, this is another unboxing video, but the difference is I have no idea what I got. And that's a pretty big box. Let's go. Welcome back to Caveman Aquatics. I'm your man Kev from CavemanAquatics.com. Make sure you check out that website. And today we got in some brand new fish from Bean Town Aquatics. I don't know what these are. My man Andre surprised me with some brand new fish. Look at the size of this box. There's got to be a lot of them. I'm going to find out what's in this box at the same time as you guys. So let's get right to it. Dope Bean Town sticker, Bean Town Aquatics, specializing in African cichlids and supplies. Nice little Bean Town sticker, thank you, Andre. Little message here in the box, let's check it out. Ah, I like that. See if you guys can read this with me. Acclimating your new fish. Turn off aquarium light, then the lights in the room. About 15 to 20 minutes, remove the fish from the bags, place them in the tank. Do not add any of the shipping water, very good information. Add aquarium salt and stress coat to your tank. I like to use Prime and Stress Guard. Leave the tank lights off for a few hours. Very good beginner information for getting new fish online. I like it. Now, here we go. First heat pack right on top. Still warm. That's good. Very good sign. Nice strong styrofoam. Packing looking good so far, guys. Check this out. Check this foam packing here. This is packed really, really well. This is going to conserve the heat. Let me give you guys a close up. This is some good padding. This is going to keep the bags nice and warm. Looks like one big bag with a bunch of small bags inside there. Let's get this padding out. Look at this. Nice and packed together. I kind of prefer that much more than the loose bunches of foam that's usually come in shipping packages bag looks pretty dry that's a good thing these are some big bags guys I count one two three I count four big bags let's get them out of here well I can't see what's in here because the whole bag is black it's gotta be bags on bags on bags this thing is securely packaged let me tell you that I don't want to cut into the bags because I don't know how many layers this is so I'm gonna do it the hard way check out how this is wrapped guys in another pocket Wow, this is a big boy. Oculatus. Letronobes Oculatus. He's big. Check him out. That's a big boy. I can see his color right through that bag. Check him out. I hope that glare is not stopping you guys. Let's get him right in the temperature. Temperature acclimation, guys. Just like the instruction said. One down. Here's another bag fully wrapped up. I like this idea of this dark black pouch that it's in that keeps more light out. Make sure that they're in total darkness even though they're in an enclosed box. Fusco, a Fusco, check him out, that guy is big, I see that color, I think Andre did his homework and he made sure he didn't send me anything that I already had, I like that already, 
Get them in there. Man, these guys are big. So far, both of those seem to be about six inches. Perfect size for my for my tank with my guys here. Mind you guys, I'm just acclimating them here in my 210. They are not gonna go in here. They're gonna go quarantine as everyone should always do. Maglandi. Here's a Maglandi. I guess this guy wasn't as big as the other ones. That's why he just came in this one bag. Hard to see him through the bag. Can you guys see? Maglandi. I'm gonna have to look some of these guys up. But I see gray color. Let's see if you can see him a little bit better now. I see that dorsal fin looking good. Last but not least, hopefully. So far, three out of four are not any fish that I have in my 210. That's good. Let's see who this guy is. Found it easiest to just break the rubber bands off. Oh wow. A Borley Benji OB. This guy looks nice. Look at him. Can you see through the bag guys? I hope so. Nice big guy. He's six inches plus, for sure. Beautiful color on him. There they go, guys. Four new guys from Beantown Aquatics. I'm going to let them acclimate to the temperature real quick for about 15, 20 minutes, like the instructions state. And then we're going to get them in the quarantine. Let you guys have a better look. Before we get them into quarantine, I want to give one more big thank you to Andre over at Beantown Aquatics. Not only is he sponsoring this video, but he's also offering a 15% discount to all Caveman Aquatics viewers and members. So guys, make sure you go check them out. Make sure you use that discount and enjoy some brand new fish. And don't forget to like the video as well so it goes out to more people and more people can enjoy some beautiful fish. So check this out. I just spoke with Andre over at Beantown and these black bags that are inside the plastic, the purpose for these, I can tell the texture now. These are to prevent the fish's dorsal fin from poking a hole in the plastic bag, causing water to drip out. Now that I feel them to the touch, they are a thicker piece of material. Very good idea. I like it. So the guys have been acclimated for plenty of time. I moved them over into their quarantine tank, which if you guys can tell, is my 75 gallon old grow out tank, which nobody's, nobody's in here growing out anymore, except for maybe one or two females. They're going back to the shop soon. But this is going to be these guys brand new quarantine tank for at least two weeks before they go into the main. Let's get these guys in here. Now last time I did this guys, I did take some slack about going in there with my hands. I wanted to give you guys a nice shot of how the fish look. This time I'll do it the way you're supposed to do it. Which is inside of a net over a bucket. That way you don't have to handle these fish and get them more stressed out than they already are. Alright, this is the right way. That's the Aculatus. He looks great already. Got a big old head. Next up, we're going for the Fusco. Let's get the Fusco out of here. Look at that color on him. Look at that color on his face already. Dressed out and all. Fusco in the house. There's that female I was talking about. Hopefully they leave her alone. Next up we got the Maglandi. Never heard of this fish. But looks good. Let's get him in there.
Check him out. Nice. Maglandi got a nice little stripe on his head. Almost like a Xerox looking. Really nice looking fish. Beautiful. Last but not least, we got our Borley Benji OB. This is, I think, the biggest guy. As well as other reasons. Oof, that guy was swimming upstream. Oh wow, look at that. Beautiful. Check him out. These are the four new guys from Beantown Aquatics. Thank you, Andre. Guys looking good. Big boys. Look at these guys. Oof. Wow. These guys are monsters. There's the four new guys all together. For those of you that love African cichlids but feel like you don't know enough to keep them, I've got a brand new online course called Keeping African Cichlids and in my course I teach you everything that you need to know about keeping these beautiful fish from fried to adult. To get more information on the course I'll put a card up here and a link in the description as well. You know what guys, I was going to wrap the video but instead I'm going to fast forward two weeks into the future, I'm going to show you how the guys have been doing in the quarantine tank and we're going to go ahead and put them into the main tank right now. But before we do that, Make sure that you guys like this video so that it gets out to more people. It helps the channel, helps the video, and I appreciate y'all 